Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This video and those that follow in the series were taken from a quite spectacular live stream where I made a Reddit post asking for totally new players to raids who I could try to train on stream. The aim was to show that with some strategy, communication, and a dash of rock solid support builds, raids can be for everyone, not just the elitist party that they perhaps appear. The results really do speak for themselves. I couldn't have asked for a better bunch of players. As a side note, in all of these upcoming videos, I do a full explanation of boss mechanics and strategy alongside marker setups and play-by-play -play calls. So you can almost consider this a guide of sorts, which you may find useful. Don't worry though, proper guides are on the way soon. And of course, you can always see me doing this sort of thing and ask questions live on my stream every day. Link is in the description. That's all for me. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Because we will kill the training golem. We will kill everything. We're going to kill every boss in the game. Well, maybe not all of them, but we'll kill loads of them. I'm uh, told this is where the bad raiders are. Whoa. I, I come. Whoa. No, this is where. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is where the I'm only go good raiders, okay? The only good raiders in the entire game. I guess game I'm are. in the wrong place, dude. Oh. But yeah, I think our, our, our tenth guy is on his way. That means we have an amazing. Guys, look at this comp. Look at the comp. This is better than most raid comps I ever see. Two Kronos, okay? We're gonna have a Druid, because the, the, our, our tent is our, gonna be our Druid player. Heal Necro, Warrior, two Soul Beasts, lovely job. Two Soul Beasts, one power, we're gonna mix them, oh, we've got one power, and one Condi, I think. One power Soul Beast, one Condi Soul Beast, okay? Got the DH, very good stuff, okay? Got ourselves a Weaver as well, for our last DPS. We've got a balanced team composition, guys. Got some good, solid classes to help us. We've got plenty of cleave, plenty of CC. Mm. Oh, it's, this is gonna, it's gonna be great, okay? It's gonna be, mm. Mm. it's gonna be great. Dude, I'm hyped, okay? Oh. I'm actually hyped. I, I'm, I'm gonna, look, everyone has said that it's impossible, that this is not possible. I'm just gonna flame you guys when I, when, when I show you how possible this is. Look oh, at I this, read, read look at this team. You made it. Yeah. Is this from the Reddit thread? Yeah, this is the, the Reddit, this is the Reddit thread stream. Okay, all right, team. We must assemble. Are we all in okay. We must all assemble in the aerodrome. Okay, we're gonna go to the training golem first for you know a little bit of a, a training golem thing. We can we can look. I want I want to see. I want to see what we're dealing with. Well, how much DPS we're packing? How how many boons we're packing? Let's go. Okay, let, I just want to see the situation here. Okay, because the key to raiding, my friends, is being prepared. Okay, if you aren't prepared. Well, it's going to be really hard, and the uh, thing is, thing is good when things are really hard, but this is not one of those times, okay? Like, this is where we want things to be really easy, okay? Raids are meant to be basically free loot, okay? That's real, guys. Free loot! Not supposed to be difficult, supposed to be easy. Okay, so let's get this big boy golem going on. Oh, look at him, that's a big boy. Also, uh, okay, so we need, um, well, first, make sure you guys have got the right build on. Okay, and you can find, you can find the build, right, have it right in front of you. You just go to Snowcrows, like snowcrows.com, and navigate to where your class is, and you can just have a look at the build. Although, uh, well, actually it depends. It depends. Yeah, I, I want to see, for a start, hang on, Mesmus, come with me. Okay, it's time. It's time. Okay. So, you guys are running Chaos, right? Um... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. 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 Just the, the the normal the normal yeah, the uh, chaos build. Nine percent build. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the normal uh, the normal normal chrono build, and you've got you guys running mimic, right? Yeah. Mimic. Okay. Excellent. Okay. In that case, you got to give me show me show me what you got. Let's do do the rotation on the golem. Let's go. Go 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 go. Hook me up. Let's see what we got going on here. Look. Oh, matter. Oh. Look. Oh. Oh. Matter. Thirty seconds of quickness. Oh, ye of little faith. Okay. <laughs> Do you know why I have boons, guys? Because these players have read something online. Look at this. Look at boons. Okay, this is free. It, this is free. Okay, honestly, this this is a joke. See, look. Look, look at this player, okay? Torak and Eriko are literally a thousand IQ. Why are they a thousand IQ? Because they have actually, look, they've got the gear. I see the ascended swords, okay? And also, we got one giver's tank chrono here, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. We are gonna absolutely wreck stuff, dude. Oh. Oh, man. 
This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see, boys, okay? Look, I, I, you know, I don't want to, like, expose people, right? But I believe right. most of these players um, have, have um, like, less than 10 insights. Damn, dude. That's awesome. Yes. In fact, I think, I think everyone uh, has more or less no uh, real uh, raid experience. Like, a, like a, few, uh, a few bosses have been slain. But, uh, Actually, but... uh, what are insights? Uh, what are insights? Yep. Uh, basically, there are like a token you get for killing a boss. They they used as like a measure of experience in the raid community. Quite, quite bad. Not not exactly a good thing, but it is what it is. Everyone who's looking to get into raids, these are model citizens. Okay, they look. We, we've researched, guys. Practice. Holy shit! Amazing. Okay, that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, all right. So now. Uh, honestly, do we even need to like? Do we even need to look at the DPS players? Not really. Like, honestly, we could just go and raid. Like, that's the only thing that was concerning, really. That's the only thing that needs to um, uh, that that it, that can be a problem in raids is is uh, Mesmer's not having a a hold on the rotation. And yeah, as for you, Druid. Okay, this is easy. This is easy. All you got to do is like, as soon as Celestial Avatar is off cooldown, get your ass in at Celestial Avatar. Yeah, this one. Yeah, he's using the good one. Use the good one. Get you Because your job is to give us 25 might as well, right? And you do that with your grace of the land trait, which you have equipped because I, I see you applying that, okay? I see you applying that. So basically, whenever you've got Celestial Avatar, use Celestial Avatar. Pretty much that's basically how it goes. Uh, there is a little bit of finesse to it, but for the purposes of the training, basically it's up, use it, start going crazy, like mash your abilities as hard as you, as hard as you can. Like you just use, just fully use CA, right? Fully use CA, job done, okay? That will be... That will be no problem for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so for spirits, uh, you just always make sure you got water spirit. Water. Yep. Uh, water, sun, uh, frost, and nature. Do you want sun or do you want cliff empowerment? Uh. Well, I we don't really we well we don't really need empowerment in in a lot of situations we we probably won't be taking it. We'll be taking something else handy on you. For example, we on when we're gonna do Veil Guardian, which is the first boss we're gonna do. Uh, you, we're gonna take Glyph of Tides. Uh, I think, yeah, the, the key things are having Frost Spirit and Sun Spirit. Like, those are the two really, really good ones. Right. And then Nature Spirit and Water Spirit, those are the ones that we need there as well. So that's going to be really, really good. But anyway, uh, so I think we're pretty much good to go. But uh, just, to, just to start off here, uh, so does everyone have food set up? Does anyone not have food? Because I'll just buy that for you now. Or so, actually, no, I'll, I'll send you gold for it, in fact. Okay, so I, think, I, think, I guess everyone's got, got food. All right, and that'll about do it. Let's go do some raids. Easy. All right. Hell yeah. We leave the instance, my friends, and we go to Veil vale Guardian. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Right now, this I do have a problem whenever I do raid training or anything like that. Uh, now, if you know, guys, don't mind. Can you verify how many insights you guys have? Like, chat is saying that you guys are like SC members in in disguise. Okay. How do I verify that? What is go? Well, it, look. If you don't know, the answer is almost certainly zero, um, because um, that, it's something you, you you get from a raid kill. Okay, zero. Look, listen, chat, you fuckers. That, that they don't believe you. They don't believe me, man. They don't believe us. Yeah, these guys are unbelievable. Mm, yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll that the reason why we need Glyph of Tides will become apparent as we travel up this road here. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to discover why we need Glyph of Tides pretty shortly, actually. I'm assuming you I want think they're doing. Wow. Okay. Also, I, I do want it a little quiet in this Discord because we are actually. I'm going to do a very serious training environment here. Okay. So, Tysa, I'm going to have yes. to ask you to be respectful of our trainees. Again, that goes for anyone. If people come insult Discord and you guys are going to be annoying, okay, I will make you quiet. Okay, because this is absolutely a serious raid training environment for the best experience we possibly can have. Okay, it's full RP. So, welcome to uh, Spirit Veil, guys. Let me just close my door because oh, that, that's dude. Right, let's do this. Let's crush this trash. So this is kind of like a trash event, but also kind of like teaching you the fight to come. Actually, uh, so you'll see here that we have three guardians: the green, the blue, and you, well, there he is, right in the distance, the red guardian. So these um, separately have some of the abilities. That the main boss has okay that's that, that's how this works let's let's start let's go run into this guy and see what he does so oh so this guy is summoning these blue circles okay these will teleport you 
if you get hit by them. And these are the Lorbs, they do a bit of damage too, but you, they, it's negligible, so you don't have to, Can you see those blue things? Whoa! Teleported, see? And when you're standing in those, your screen will go a little bit yellow, a little bit orange as well, okay? So you can kind of tell if you're in one or not. So just look at the edges of your screen for going a little bit on the, uh, on the yellow side, and you can see uh, what's going on there, okay? Uh, and then you just break him, and then he's dead. So that's the teleport, those little blue circles. Ah! Oh no, we pulled the blue one! Okay, that's fine though. Okay, so this guy is the green circle mechanic. He's got the uh, the lightning mechanic. So what this guy does, for a start you need to boon rip him to kill him. So I'll boon rip, or our mesmers can finish that auto attack on him. And it also summons this green circle, okay? If, if you don't have at least four people in the green circle, right? Everyone in the raid takes about, eight, I think it's like 85, 90% of their HP and damage, which is, that's obviously bad. But the great news is, is because we have such an amazing druid and heal necro, very dashing, attractive, handsome heal necro, uh, we're going to completely ignore this mechanic in the main raid, okay? We're going to completely ignore that. Turns out, it doesn't matter at all. So we don't, you don't have to go in it. We don't have to go in that. That is, uh, we're going to skip that mechanic. And again, you break him, and then he dies. And now, the red guardian. Now, this guy only takes damage from conditions, okay? He, uh, physical damage will do almost nothing, nothing to him. Uh, so it's a good thing we've got a few condies, actually, otherwise that would be a bit awkward. Uh, so, and then you can see these Seekers. Now, these Seekers, we need to push them away. They, if they touch us, they do huge AoE damage, okay? And that is where our, um, our Druid will come in with Glyph of Tides. Our Druid can push these away, okay? And make sure they don't go anywhere near us, right? Very handy. Are there any... Ooh, yeah, graphics thing. Yeah, graphics thing. So, uh, for graphics settings, what you can do is you can put your character model limit on medium. And make sure you've got Effect LOD checked on. Okay? So that's uh, just in Graphics Options. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Effect LOD checked on. And Character Model Limit on Medium. <laughs> Let's talk about the mechanics of this fight. So we've actually seen a lot of the mechanics uh, of this fight already. Uh, so there's the green circle that's going to spawn um, every about 20 seconds. That will do some damage to us. But that, we're just going to heal through that. We're going to completely ignore that. So we don't run to it. We just ignore it and hit the boss as hard as we can. Okay. Uh, and then you've got the teleports. He will periodically spawn the teleports uh, right near us. He summons them under you, actually. It's a it's, it's dastardly ability, okay? So we have to try and dodge out of those. You don't even have to dodge those. What you can do is, right, if you... you there's like a sound cue to them, so make sure you've got your audio on. Make, you got, get that effect. It, like, it's like a, like, almost like a whistling sound, right? It's like a, like a sizzling sound. So as soon as you hear that and you see those blue circles, and I'll call them as well. Uh, what we want to do is we want to just sidestep them and move away from them and don't get teleported. If you do, though... It's okay. Uh, you just run back to the boss as quickly as you can. Uh, and, Are they the ones that make your screen go orange as well? That you yeah, see? that's correct. Yeah, you, at the edges of your screen, if you're standing on a blue, okay, you will see um, like a little, little bit of orange-yellow tint at the edge of your screen. So you can tell if you are on one. You'll get used to knowing, that, uh, just noticing this sort of thing as we as we progress through the raids. Uh, some seekers will also be attacking us. Okay. Uh, and that's when our druid will push them away. I will also try and deal with them as well. I've got some abilities. I'll use my uh, epidemic to epidemic immobilize on them. I can fear them away, stuff like that is what I'll be doing as well. Uh, but you, of course, uh, sorry, say again. Can you root them? Yep, you can. So you could you can actually take entangle. A, a, you I've can got, even yeah. take entangle to do that if you wanted to do that. Uh, I've got vine search on my staff. I'll just use that if I need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's there's plenty of stuff you can do uh, on on your druid. You can use celestial avatar five as well. That will also immobilize them. Um, yeah. So that's pretty good. Oh no, my golem's going in. No, 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 no. Uh, but anyway, that is basically the, the, the those are, yeah. The, no, stop it. Again. Yeah, hang on. So those are more or less the core mechanics of the fight. Uh, of course, the, of course. Why do we need a tank? Okay, why have we got a giver's chrono? Well, quite simple, my friends, because this guy goes on the person with the highest toughness, which is going to be Master Erico. Yeah. What's your toughness, sir, Erico? And they, well, I, I believe he's full giver, um, so yeah. I think... Yeah, we, yeah go ahead. Uh, 2,000. 2,000? Safe. Safe. Well, okay. okay, then I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So hopefully no one has more than 2,000 toughness. That would be... That would be he's not good! Tough, tiny man. Yeah? Uh, but yeah, he's a tough boy. So basically, this will be our tank for the evening. So he's going to be chasing you down. And it's obviously going to be quite... It's a bit more... Tri a bit trickier. 
uh, for you to dodge um, all the, the blues and stuff, because, you know, you, you, you kind of have to stay still and not jiggle around as much. If you do have to move, though, just move. Um, again, DPS is not going to be an issue here. I absolutely guarantee DPS will not be an issue. Uh, so if you need to move, move. Uh, but other than that, he has quite a strong auto attack, so everyone except the tank should stand behind the boss. Very important not to stand behind the boss. Uh, uh, not stand in front of the boss, because he will, he'll wreck you. This guy's actually one of the hardest hitting bosses in the game. He, he's got quite the punch on him. Uh, so make sure all the DPS stand behind him, go crazy, or warrior behind him, uh, druid me behind him, other chrono behind him, start going crazy. Destroying the boss as best we can. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, the tank spot I recommend is you want to stand about here. Uh, or, or thereabouts. So basically, on the, anywhere on the edge is fine, realistically, right? Uh, so when the when the fight starts, uh, a wall will appear here, and that wall you can actually dodge back into. You can kind of practice on the pillar here. So, in other words, if you need to dodge a blue, there's like a timing. You want to wait for about a count of like two ish in your head, and then if you just you can just dodge back into the wall, and you can just not move the boss. However, you could also use distortion, uh, use use a, a shield block. Use Blood Frenzy, you can do all of that to dodge the, the blues and the attacks. But again, if you get ported, it's really not the end of the world. Um, well, DPS is really not an issue here, guys. Um, one thing I, I, I really want to stress for any new raider, and, and for us, of course. Do not worry about DPS, okay? What we should be focusing on is mechanics and surviving. So if, I don't know, if I'm on the ground dead feeding, you guys you guys have got to carry me, okay? Like, as soon as, as soon as you see a guy go, go down... Boom, instant res. Like, get on him, press F, boom, right, immediately. Like, getting revives, uh, focusing on mechanics is so, so important. And that is what we're going to focus on here, guys. And we're going to crush this boss. As well? So, then, but oh, did you really think it would be that easy, guys? We've got phases to deal with, okay? So, it, it, it is easy, don't worry. So, at, 60, at 66%, yeah, he's going to phase. He does this again at 33%. So, he's going to split into three, okay? Jesus. And... So the red guardian will spawn by the red pillar. The a blue guardian will spawn by the blue pillar. As you can probably guess, the green guardian will spawn by the green pillar. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our Condi DPS come to the red pillar, right? To kill the red guardian. And we're going to have everyone else go to the blue pillar. Then what we're going to do is pull the green one over so we can kill those two guys at the same time. Okay? Pretty straightforward. And then when they die, when they've run out of HP, there's bloody fireworks going on, man. What are they doing? Like, anyway, once they once they die, we have to use our CC abilities, our crowd control abilities. So stuff like Shield 5, uh, Star 5 on our Rev, uh, Bane Signet on the uh, Guardian, Soul Beast can do like Hilt Bash, or if you've got like the Gazelle, I think the Gazelle has a CC on him, I think. Uh, or Shortbow 5, Warrior Headbutt, uh, Weaver with the Air Earth thingy, right? Loads of stuff we can use uh, to, to break this stuff, obviously, you know. It's always Mesmer and Druid and, and me. It's all our job. We're the CC bots. It's all we're here for, boys. Uh, so as soon as we break all those Guardians, kill all three of those, the boss will then respawn, and we go into the next phase. After we tank there, we have to tank a little bit differently. So I'm afraid a bit more work for Eriko to do. So in the next phase, where we want to stand is about here. Okay, this is I'm going to put that mark for the second phase here. Uh, because what's going to happen? Something weird's going to happen. Can you see how the arena is divided into three slices? Okay. So in the second, uh, in the second uh, boss phase, one of those slices is going to light up. Okay. And if you stand on that, we take damage. So we're going to have to move the boss a little bit so we don't end up on a lit up field ever. Okay. So that is why we're going to start the circle. Because the first field to light up is going to be blue. Then it will be red. And then it will go to green. And it just cycles around like that, quite simply. Until we get to 33%, where we get another split phase. And then we um, get, uh, then we have to kill the Guardians again. And then we do the final 33%. But two slices will be lit up. And it will start with green and blue. Then it will be um, blue and red. Then it will be red and green. And then it will be green and blue again. So in other words, in the last phase, at 33%, we have to do a bit of a circle dance, right? So um, as you can see where the circle is right now in the last phase we'll start here okay and then we'll move to here after um well when i say and then we'll move to here and then we'll move to here and we'll just rotate around like that in a in a well in a little circle uh but yeah that is that's to the tanking of this boss is honestly pretty tricky like this is actually pretty tricky uh so if, if things go slightly wrong 
don't worry about it. It, it won't be a big deal. Uh, I'll, I, you know, I may even move the marker. I may move the circle so we can see what's going on. There's one more mechanic that we need to talk about, and that is break bar. So after the first split phase and um, onwards, every once in a while, he's going to use a break bar attack. What, he's going to raise his hand up into the sky and start firing out orbs that do a lot of damage. It's in our best interest to break that as quickly as possible. So that is where we use all of our crowd control abilities. Again, um, if it's a stun, a daze, a knockback, uh, anything like that, that's when you use that. Because uh, he, he, what will happen is he'll raise his hand up, a blue bar will appear under his HP bar. So if you click on the Veil Guardian now, you can see that there's like this metallic uh, strip underneath the red health bar, right? Uh, when his break bar is active, it will turn blue, like a, a light blue, uh, and it will take damage when you use uh, any crowd control on it. Uh, and he'll stop doing this ability once we uh, crowd control him. So that's what we need to do there. So, that's basically all the mechanics uh, for Veil Guardian, pretty much, right? That's that's it. Uh, so yeah, I, I think we're, we're just about ready to get started. Okay, we're all ready. Okay, I will go and, uh, I'll go and grab the boss. Here we go. So, Tank, you, uh, so Erica, you want to get in position about where the arrow is, something like that. And yeah, he's going to come over now, get rid of him. There are the blues, watch out for those, blue circles. Okay, oh, the goal, oh, we actually got a bit unlucky. The green automatically swarmed, which is a bit weird. So everyone, uh, ooh, one thing I should have said is everyone make sure we stack. Blues are up, blues are up, okay, good. No, most people didn't get pulled, wow, there's the green. Okay, there's a seeker on us, so if we get that pushed away, that would be pretty good. But, okay, that's fine. They despawned anyway. So, yeah, again, watch out for those blues. Just chase the boss, guys. Chase the boss. This is fine. Okay, there'll be another... Okay, watch the blue circles. Okay, ooh, run back as quick as you can. So, there's a green. We don't have to, we don't have to go in the green. Don't go in the green. No need, no need. Okay, there's the green detonating. Careful of the blues. Oh, I got you. Easy res, easy res. Keep the damage going, guys. Keep the damage going. This is good. Okay, blues again, blues again. Okay, there's another port, but that's fine. Just again, chase the boss, chase the boss. And remember guys, stay stacked. S staying stacked, that's where all the boons, all the healing is. All the boons and all the healing are on the tag, which is where I am. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very good for us if we all stack. The There's another green. Are a little hard Watch to out. see. They are, they're, they're a bit tricky, they're a bit tricky, but you'll get used to it, no problem. Okay, there we go. So, oh, there's the phase. Okay, so power classes come, okay, Condi classes go to red. Everyone else come to blue. Lovely. Okay, you guys are going to have to kill a Guardian. Watch out for the Seekers on red. They still spawn. The reason we have to all pick a color is because basically you get a buff uh, corresponding to the color of the pillar you stand nearby. And everyone... Oh, we have to stand in this green though. Oh, dear. Oh, we did it. Yeah, we have to stand in that because otherwise our red team will die. We don't want them to take any damage. Forgot to mention that. Whoops. But anyway, now we kill this Guardian. I'm going to go That's over and help those guys. I'm going to go and heal them. Gonna go After you the kill red, just stay over there near that. Yeah, yeah, pillar. don't, don't, yeah, just, just stay where, the, yeah, just stay where the pillar you already were, so you can, you can, you don't need to, you don't need to leave, because basically we're gonna kill it about the same time anyway. Okay, so we're just finishing this off. Yeah, you take, yeah, that, as I was saying, matter, um, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, basically the, the color you have indicates that you're gonna take way more damage from the colors that aren't you. Okay, so in other words, if you're red and you have the red buff, you take double damage. Um, from the blue and green um, AoEs. Okay, so here you go, the boss is up. So now we want to go over towards Circle. Uh, yeah, over here, over here. Come here, come here. Towards the Circle. Oh, okay. Uh, no, 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 not here. Oh, towards Circle. Circle. Come down Circle. I'm stupid, I called the... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, CC, CC. Easy CC. Okay, this is a, this is a bit tricky. Uh, okay, I can actually... We can recover. We can recover. So... What went wrong there is that we were kind of standing in the lit up area, but that's fine. Easy to recover. Okay, so just go back to attacking the boss. This is fine. Try and knock the seeker away if we can. Good standing in the green. We stay here. I said the wrong tile would light up first because I'm noob. Okay, watch those blues. Okay, then we get our res. Okay, so now you want to go over to where the circle is now. We just want to go stand there. Okay, so stack up, guys. Stack up. Let's reheal. Try and bury everyone up. Okay, our res. Okay, so now we want to CC. CC, CC, CC. Break that bar, team. Good job, good job. Okay, now we want to move to circle. Just go ahead and move to circle again. Let's move another bit of the bit of the slice around. Okay, good work, team. Okay, let's get the reses again. There we go. Everyone's up. Just run back to the boss if you get teleported, guys. Run back to the boss. Okay. Bloody fireworks, man. Okay, run back to the boss if you get teleported. Okay, I can get you guys. I can get you. There we go. 
Rezzing, rezzing, rezzing. Watch out for those blues, guys. Those are what uh, seems to be screwing us over quite badly. Break that bar, guys. Break that bar. Break that bar. Okay. There we go. Let's get the... Hang on. Let's get the res on you. There we are. Okay, and come back to the group, guys. Back on the group. Back on the group. So our tank is probably going to go down here. Oh, no. Oh, good distort there, my friend. Okay, and now we split up again, guys. So Condies to red. Everyone else over to blue. And th this things are going to get spicy in the last phase, okay? So get ready. The last phase is where things really get intense. So go in the screen, guys. Go in the green. Go in the circle. Go in the screen circle. Finish off the blue guardian here. Okay, and let's break him. Very, very good. Very, very good. Now let's finish off the green guardian. Take this guy out. Okay, and CC him. I'm going to go over and help red. You guys can just stay there. Okay. Very good work, team. Now we just break this bar. So, uh, Eriko, come and stand where I am now. Come over to the circle. You can just come over to the circle. Over here, directly on me. Directly on me. Very important. Sure. Yep. Okay. Now, all stack up, guys. Everyone stack up. Everyone stack up. There's going to be a Seeker that spawns in the middle. Watch those blues. Uh, uh, loads more blues spawn in the last phase, by the way. So, yeah. Ooh, scary. But now we just DPS. There's the green circle up. Can we get a, a push on these? Uh, can we get a push on these? Very good. Very good. Lovely. Break that bar. Break the bar. Get the res. Now move to the circle again. Move ahead. Move ahead. Move ahead. Go, 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 go. Move to about here. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Very good stuff, guys. Very good stuff. There's another. There's going to be... Okay, there's the blues. Try not to get ported. Oh, a few ports there. Just run back. Just run back. Okay, I think we can actually save this. Uh, I think I can maybe get you guys. Oh, hang on. Um, okay, now we need to get back to the boss quickly. Get back to the boss. There's a green. Get those good revives, guys. Very good revives. Go, let's stand in this. Stand in this green. Let's stand in this green. Let's reduce the damage we take. Good job. There's going to be a break bar. Break the break bar. Break the break bar. Break, 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 break. Okay, now move on again to where the circle is. Sorry for not calling that tank. I was uh, busy saving some poor souls. So there's another green. Get ready for some damage incoming. Let's get some heals. Big heals from that druid, dude. Big heals. Let's get some barrier up. Okay, there we go. Watch the blues. Watch the blues. Oh, a few ports there, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get these reses. Good vapor form there. I like that. High IQ. Very good. Okay, we need to move again. To about here. And I reckon we can actually finish the boss off here. Right. Okay. okay. I'm going to res you guys uh, with a signet. Okay, you guys are up. Let's finish this fucking boss. Kill him. Kill him. 2%. Let's go. Yes. Oh, it's first oh. try. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? First try, boys! You're gonna join the ARP, right? Yeah? Oh my god, fuck. God, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, that's dude! So How about that? That's pretty good, huh? I think that's pretty good. You guys actually care? You yeah! And with a turtle, dude! Everyone's alive! Holy shit! Oh, great oh, job, god. guys! That is actually fantastic! That is absolutely fantastic! Great job, guys. That was oh. Awesome. Yeah. So this oh, is where man. you guys say not even hard, easy, Yeah, free. easy. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, guys. Uh, and uh, congratulations on, on some of our, our new raiders here. have just got their first boss kill. How about that?